Hey, Double Eagle. This school year, we've been using computers a lot to communicate with each other, so I thought it'd be fun to take a look inside computers and learn a little bit more about how they process and send information. Today, we're going to learn about the parts of a computer by making our own out of paper. Yes, it will just be a pretend computer, but it will still be cool and it will still have all the same parts that a real computer does. Now, when I talk about a computer, I'm not just talking about a desktop or a laptop. Tablets, cell phones, iPads, even video game systems and smartwatches are also computers. Anything that can work and store with numbers is a computer. To make your computer today, you're going to need two pieces of blank paper and something to write or draw with. Okay, today we're going to make a laptop computer. I like laptops because they can fold up. So make your piece of paper fold up like a laptop. Okay, go ahead and fold both of those pieces of paper for you. Then when we open up a laptop, what do we have inside? Oh, usually there's a screen at the top. So I'm going to draw a rectangle for my screen. I might add more details to my screen later, but for now just a rectangle is good. And then on the bottom part, it has a keyboard. Hmm, what do keyboards have on them? Keyboards have buttons. Hmm, I'm putting some square buttons for each of the numbers. I want to be able to enter in numbers on my computer. Usually there's letters too, but this is your computer. Maybe you want to have different buttons. So go ahead and add whatever buttons you want. I think I'm going to add some letters here. You could look at a picture of a real computer if you want to make your buttons the same as that, or think of your own idea. Now that we've made the outside of the computer, let's make the inside of the computer. We usually think of desktop computers in terms of the screen. That's what we look at most of the time. But all the work is done inside the computer. On a laptop that's under the keyboard, they store all the same parts that you'll find in a computer case of a desktop under the keyboard of a laptop computer. So I'm going to open this one up and show you what's inside. And we'll put those same parts on our laptops that we're making. Inside a computer, all the messages and instructions go through the CPU. That stands for Central Processing Unit. It's kind of like the boss of the rest of the computer. It carries out all the instructions and it sends messages to all the other parts of the computer so they can communicate with each other. All the other parts of the computer, the monitor and the keyboard, the mouse, are connected to the CPU through this motherboard that it's on. And since computers use electricity to send signals, they have to be connected with metal wires. The CPU often has a big fan on it because with so much electricity going through it, it can get pretty hot. Take your blank piece of paper and we're going to put the inside computer parts in here. So I'm going to add a big box for a motherboard and on the motherboard, I'm going to put a little box for the CPU. CPU. And I'm going to put some, a whole bunch of wires going out of it. This one is going to go to the keyboard. That's why it's going off the page. And maybe this one goes to the monitor. Also on the motherboard are some chips where the computer can store the data it's working on right now. This is called RAM or random access memory. These little squares hold all the information it's working on. For example, you're watching this video right now on a computer and your computer is downloading the video from the internet and putting it inside the RAM so that it can show it to you on a screen. Also in RAM is the program that's showing you this video, whether it's YouTube or Chrome or Safari. So in RAM is everything the computer needs to be thinking about right now. Sometimes we want to store something for a long time. If something is just in RAM, it will disappear when the computer turns off. So if we want to store something for a long time, we need a storage drive. You can see the storage drive in this computer, and it has wires connecting it to the motherboard. That's what I'm going to draw over here. Anytime you take a picture or a video or download something from the internet and store it on your computer, it's going on one of these storage drives. 
But whenever the computer needs to work with something, it will move it from the storage drive into RAM because that is much faster. The inside of the computer can go under your other sheet. And see how it's hidden inside? Just like on a real laptop, all these parts are hidden inside, but we can lift it up and see what's inside our computer. And on the outside, let's put our name on it. I'm going to write Ms. Landacres computer. Obviously you put your name since you're making a computer for you. Last, on the computer screen, I want you to draw what your computer can do. Maybe your computer is really good at making pictures, or maybe you have a really fun game that you want to invent and put on your computer. Or maybe your computer is used in a hospital. You decide and draw something here on your screen that shows how your computer will be used. When you're done, take a picture of your computer and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.